Today we're playing Down the Well with the Island Deck. Down the Well is just one of several games we can play with the Island Deck. It's super simple and it's got some interesting strategy to it. It's I don't want to say it's a trick-taking game or a stops game. I don't know exactly what kind of game it is, but it's a very simple multiplayer card game, and we're going to see the rules as we go. The Island deck is a 54-card deck. It's six suits with the numbers, uh, well, ace through seven, and then a queen and a king in six suits. And down the well, you're going to be playing cards out of your hand. You're trying to last as long as you can but only in the last round of the game. And sometimes the game goes for two rounds, sometimes it goes for three, now and then it goes for one. It does depend on the number of players in the game. It's a little hard to explain that you want to last as long as possible, but only when you know the game is going to end. Otherwise, you want to hold on to your cards so you have enough cards to last longer in the next round. The final round of the game is determined when somebody runs out of cards. So if any one player runs out of cards, this is definitely the final round but then anyone who can keep playing after that is going to win. With two players, we deal out a hand of 10 cards. With any other number of players, we deal out a hand of nine. Every player is going to look at their hand, and they're going to pass three cards to the player on their left. Uh, which cards you pass is kind of hard to explain again, but uh, I'll show you what I've got. I'm starting with ace, six, four in crabs, a king in ships, ace, three in flowers, a deuce in dolphins, and a 6-7 of trees. I'm going to get rid of the aces because those always have to get played on the first round. And I'm going to get rid of a low card that matches one of my aces. Okay, everyone has passed three cards to the left. Now, the single lowest crab has to play first. So you might have passed away the deuce of crabs if you were dealt it. Uh, you might have held on to it because you want to play first. It's kind of up to you. But we'll just ask if anyone has a deuce of crabs. And if no one has that, we'll ask who has the three and so on until somebody plays a card. Turns out the lowest crab in the game is the one that I held on to, the four. So I play first. As we play cards, they're going to be sorted into discard piles by suit. You can play whatever card you want as long as it's higher than the top card of that discard pile. So, uh, let's see. This player who's holding a bunch of high crabs is going to say, okay, I don't think this is the last round of the game, which means I want to hold on to as many cards as I can to the next round. It's great if those cards are high. And so I'm going to play the ace of crabs, which protects my queen and my king. Maybe I should have held that and maybe somebody else is going to play a crab because I know I can play the queen and the king, you know, later. But I, basic strategy, I'm trying to save my queen and my king. I'm going to play the ace. The next player says, well, I don't know what my plan is for this hand, but I know that it's hard to get rid of deuces, so I'm going to throw away the deuce of trees. This player says, I have a bunch of aces and I don't like it, but if I drop this ace, I'll save my two anchors. So let's play that first. And so on until no one can play anymore. This is why aces always get played in the first round is because you can always play them. They are the highest card. Uh, that's why a lot of them get dumped really quickly. Now, if somebody could possibly play out their entire hand on the first round, they would probably win. In fact, I think they do win. Um, but I'm already unable to do that. This four of anchors is blocked by this ace of anchors, so I know I'm not going to be able to empty my hand. I cannot hope to win in this round, uh, so I'm going to try to save and preserve my cards till the next round. I'll drop out the king of trees. Let's rush through this and see what it looks like at the end of the round. So I'm in a nasty situation here. All of my cards are unplayable except for this king. All the other aces are out by now. So I have to play this king, which I'm not too happy about. And then everyone else is, is stuck unless one of them is holding the ace of boats. Does anyone have the ace of boats? No. So no one can play a card. The ace of boats is still in the deck. And that means I played last on that round. That's important to remember. We're going to throw all this away. We're going to start a new round. 
Now, someone may run out of cards on this round, and if they do, the person who plays for the longest is going to win. If no one runs out of cards on this round, we're going to go to a third round, and then that'll happen. So, because I played the last card, the player to my left plays first on this round. Well, low cards are hard to get rid of, so I'm going to play that three. I'm kind of hoping I can go out on this round. Now, this player can't go out on this round, but they might still be able to last longer than everyone else. Their two is already blocked. But let's play that six and stay around. Uh, so this player just got his four and his five blocked. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and play this king to block everybody else. I feel like playing this too. Let's find out what happens. My goal is to last as long as possible in this round. If I think someone's going to go out, I'm going to play this five and then all my other cards stay playable. Um, some similar thinking here. I, wow, I don't think I'm going to be able to, to play very long, but I'll play that seven. Most of these cards are not playable. I'm going to drop this four just to stay alive. I can play the five on top of that. So the six is now unplayable. This player knows this is not the last round. They're going to play the queen because they know they have to. If we remember from the first round, the king of boats is already out. So the queen is basically the new ace. This is going to have to get played. Might as well get it out of my hand now. Here is a nice high card that might hurt some other people, but doesn't hurt me. Uh, let's drop the seven of anchors. What do I have left? I can only play this. I can and therefore must play this six of crabs. This player can, uh, well, they can play the queen of crabs and the king is the ace. Let's see. Meaning the king is the highest card in this round. Uh, staying alive, going to play this. And I think that's the last card that player can play. This player can still play this, but things are looking like no one's going to run out of cards. So, so I now am like, okay, I have no more playable cards in my hand. This is, this is, it doesn't look like six there. It looks like six now. I don't have any playable cards. The queen is higher than my two trees. The, this queen is higher than my four. So I say, I am out, set my hand down on the table. Uh, this player says, not me. I can still play this. Uh, this player is out. This player still has a queen they can play. So out, uh, here's a play, out. So this player played last, no one's out of cards. We're gonna move on to round three. This player plays first. They play their deuce, get it out of the hand. There's a four. I've got a four here. There's a six, this player's out of cards. Now that doesn't mean they win. That just means this is the last round. And of course, someone else is going to play another card. The goal is to play the last card on the last round. So this player is out and is going to lose. Uh, that three is blocked. That three is blocked. That player can't play anymore. And they are very angry about that. That's playable. But this is playable. And then so is this. So I played the last cards in the last round meaning that I won the game. And there's no scoring. It's just you play uh, for who wins and, and play another hand. Uh, we're, there's a potential for multi-game scoring. Uh, we haven't really worked it out yet. This is actually a fairly new game. But the mechanics are simple, and the strategies are interesting when you're not sure how uh, whether you're going to play the last card. The three-card pass is incredibly important. Which cards you pass, which cards you receive, give you a lot of information about what... The next player is holding what the previ previous player wanted to get rid of and uh, gives you a little bit of uh, context to which cards you should lead with and what cards you can block other players from being able to play and so forth. So that's down the well. Uh, it's for the island deck. There are several other games for the island deck and more all the time. It's a nice, simple, six-suited deck for all your favorite games. And uh, thanks for watching and playing, and I'll see you at the table. Mm -hmm.